The Queen conch, a large marine snail, is an important species in maintaining the seagrass meadows of the Caribbean. However, in the Bahamas you're more likely to see them for sale in souvenir shops or on your plate. Sold by restaurants and street vendors across the islands, they are popular with tourists and locals alike. As a result, there is a prevalent fishing industry for conch. Most conch fisheries are on a small scale, providing a livelihood for locals. However, this can still have negative impacts on conch populations, with some areas showing a 35% decrease of adults in recent years. We flew to Eleuthera to investigate the effects of overfishing on the local conch population there. First of all, we spoke to local conch fishermen who gave us their perspective of the situation. They hadn't noticed any decline in their catches, regularly landing around 100 conch per day. However, studies have shown that, though populations may look abundant and stable, there is a decline in the number of sexually mature adults. This is how conch is extracted. Once the meat is harvested, the empty shells are discarded. These empty shells build up over time and form large mounds known as middens. These middens are a time capsule of past fishing efforts, allowing us to investigate how conch populations have changed through time. We were able to tell the difference between fresh and old catches by the colour of the inner shell, which fades from bright pink to white. Lip thickness is an indicator of sexual maturity. We measured 400 conch from five middens across Cape Eleuthera. We aim to investigate whether there was a change in lip thickness between old and new catches. We found that the lip thickness of freshly caught conch was significantly thinner than older catches. The lack of sexually mature adults in recent catches implies they are not common within the local population. Large groups of mature conch are required for reproduction and a population consisting of mainly juveniles will most likely collapse as conch are harvested before they are able to reproduce. Research into composition and rate of catch is needed to understand if and when a collapse could happen. This information could be used to inform planning and conservation. Enforcing protected areas or limiting fishing are steps in the right direction to stop the harvesting of juveniles. We can help the situation by changing our behaviour. Visitors to the islands can reduce demand for conch by avoiding dishes containing conch meat and refusing to buy souvenirs made from conch shells. Next time you go away, take the time to consider what you're putting on your plate and the consequences this might have. <laughs>